I'm a true champion. Hello, Accra, Ghana, and beyond. Once again, welcome from the Bukum Boxing Arena. Today is a brand new Saturday, and this is week 10 of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. Here we come by the Ken Kerry Reserve Ghana Boxing Authority. Support coming from the MLG Promotions. We are here with week number 10. We are getting ready for bout number one. But the good news before we start today's event is that Three Ghanaian boxes in UK in Birmingham. They are true to the mineral stage. And today, the boxer Abdul Wahid Umar, he couldn't make it, but he's still going to maintain at a bronze level. But boxes like Kami and Abraham, they have moved to the gold medal. Let's hope they're going to make it. Shall we put our hands together for these wonderful boxes? Ghana, we are proud of our black bombers, undoubtedly. They're going to increase the tally to 35 medals for Ghana when it comes to the Commonwealth Games. So now let's welcome the boxer to the ring. The man in charge of this fight is Erasmus O. Judge 1, Nat Oben. Richard Amivi, Judge 2. And David Mills is Judge number 3. Now let's welcome the boxers. So all is set to go for the bout number one of week number 10 of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. And this is a waterweight contest over six rounds. Officials for this bout. Judge one, Nathaniel Obain. Judge two, Richard Amave. And judge three, David Mills. Now, introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner. This evening is spotted in the black trunks with red, gold, green with the black stars to match. With black shoes and blue gloves to match. And this is the man from the Sea View Boxing Gymnasium here in Accra. This is the boxer who is trying to make his debut as a professional boxer. Please let's welcome the boxer with the weight of 150 pounds, Isaac Kome. Switching over to the red corner. One of the discoveries on the Deluxe Professional Boxing League platform. And this is the man with the black and white trunks, red gloves, and black and white shoes to match. From the Black Panthers Boxing Gym here in Accra. This is the man with the weight of 149 pounds. Official record, five fights, no defeats, no draw. Four of the wins came by way of knockout. And this is the man who is also known to be called the Dynamite. Ali Suleiman and the man in charge of this fight is Erasmus. Oh, good evening, guys. You know the rules already. I need a bullet to fight. What if I say you must be touch gloves? Good luck. Well, hello everyone and good evening. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. You're live on Matt TV, of course, at the Channel 247, bringing you nothing but the best of boxing made in Ghana. It's the Deluxe Professional Boxing League brought to you by the kindest of courtesies of IMAX. We're getting ready to bring you the first bout of the evening, and there we go. We've got the first round to share with you, and it's going to feature two. Key boxers. Ali Du Suleiman are coming into this uh, fight. Of course, the aggressor and of course the more experienced. He's got five bouts uh, to his uh, credit. 
and he's taking on Isaac Komi. Isaac Komi, who uh, is coming in uh, at a weight of 150 pounds, so he's the heavier of the two uh, boxers. This is his first, his debut as a uh, promo. Let's see what stuff he's made of. And of course, for those who've been following Alidu closely on the Deluxe Professional Boxing League, he's one of the aggressive boxers we've seen. This is a welterweight contest and it's scheduled for six rounds. Alidu in the black trunks. And then making his debut today is uh, Isaac Komi. Isaac Komi is uh, representing the Sea View Gym. Whilst the, uh, uh, the Black Panthers Gym, the dreaded Black Panthers Gym, have a product in Alidu Sulemana. My two colleagues, Derek and NY, will be uh, bringing us the uh, tidbits, the summaries, and of course, the descriptions as we go through. And again, careful timing by uh, Alidu. In good shape, he told me when we met yesterday at the uh, weigh-in, Alidu, that is. And he says he's just ready to dish out anything that comes his way. The blows, the punches, the knocks, the jabs, the hooks. He's got all that. And Isaac Komi tries to keep uh, away from uh, his opponent and a bit to steady him, as it were, before unleashing the bombs for the night and there he goes some good work there on the body of Alidu it's quite a, it's quite a solid debut uh, performance at least the first few minutes we've seen uh, and it's now the turn of Alidu to uh, distribute some of those bombs he has Isaac Komi obviously will not be uh, coyed into submission, especially not in this first round. Couple of seconds to go, and there we have the end of the first round. Well, it's been a good output, a good display by the uh, boxer who is making his debut, Isaac Komi. Derek, impressive? Very impressive. I, I expected uh, such a fight because. Um, um, Kome is coming from the Kome family, you know about the Oblique Kome, the Percy Kome is one of them and we all know that his, his brother, his junior brother is fighting in one, one of the Commonwealth boxers who is qualified sure. to go to the final. So sure. I believe that he will take some energy from, from his junior brother to prove here. He is also a guy who is coming from the kickboxing family, you know. Uh, um, Kome, uh, uh, our world, former world champion sure. Kome is also coming from a kickboxing background. So wow. I know this this fight is going to be a difficult fight. I'm not surprised wow. the way the way it's going today. Um, I think that Alidu will be tried today. Is, is one of the days that he will be tried. <laughs> so let's out. see how it really. Goes. Okay, and it's good to know coming Ooh. from a rich boxing uh, background, and of course kickboxing on the side. We obviously know about our. Uh, world champ who's now surging in the usa trying to uh, get his loins to get back into world glory but Komi, the name Komi, when it comes to boxing rings a bell in many 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 facets and uh, dimensions there was percy oblite Komi, there was oblite Komi, and the list is endless good display there by uh, isaac Komi, and uh, like derek rightly said he's not going to be coined in he's not overawed at all giving everything he has and at this stage it's Alidu who would have to uh, stand guard and uh, we may not have seen the best of the dynamite yet but I'm sure the, dy the dynamite would want to explode uh, any time soon and there he goes and lands a big one Napaka through the uh, blocks And then they uh, go into a clinch. I'll be bringing NY into uh, the frame just a second. 
We've just done one minute of the uh, second round, but three minutes have already passed as far as the first round is concerned. And definitely, NY, Isaac is not going to be a mere pushover. Granted, it is, it is his first major bout, but he's certainly standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a much more experienced Ali Dussulemana. And Prince, I like that. I like that if a fighter in his debut and he wants to stand toe to toe with an experienced fighter in the name of Ali Du Suleiman, you can see that Isaac Komen, the first one, he was trying to size his opponent to see how he can get some weaknesses mm. on his uh, opponent. But as uh, my brother Derek said, he's coming from the kickboxing family. Yeah. And you know that he is a former kickboxer, Isaac Komen. And he defeated a UK Ghanaian kickboxer base. His name is Theo. Theophilus Nelson okay. and he really ended his career on that note so you could see that Isaac Komi has a lot of big hearts he is physically strong but as Derek said today is going to be a big test for him because Ali Di Suleimana is also strong in the water weight division so let's see how this fight goes let's see how it goes and uh, quite impressive especially with uh, Isaac Komi the kickboxing background seems to be doing the, the, the trick Richard Komi uh, also came from the uh, kickboxing uh, family and then went on to uh, rule the world. And so for Isaac Komi, another of the Komis, I'm sure this generation, they just have the alphabet B in their blood, boxing. Well, the entertainment has started already and the uh, fans here have started enjoying, enjoying the bouts from ringside. So we need to look for, okay, so ev eventually the uh, gum shield is back in uh, its rightful place and the uh, bout will continue. But one thing, uh, NY, we've not lost track of is the fact that connoisseurs of the art of uh, boxing who come here every fortnight to witness the uh, Deluxe Energy Professional uh, Boxing League or the Deluxe Professional Boxing League almost leave here with their hearts filled. Boxers have shown a lot of class, a lot of discipline. The fans have almost always been here in their numbers and look at him go. Flurry of punches there from Isaac Kome, not landing the uh, points that he would have wanted, but of course also exhibiting that look. He knows why he is here today. Exactly, Prince. You know, as you said, he knows why he is here today. He is his debut and he needs to make sure he's entertained the fans and make sure he deals, he deals with his opponents in front of him. You can see that a little Suleiman have thought uh, uh, I mean, Isaac Kome being his debut, he's going to get it easy with his opponent. But I mean, in the round two, you could see that Isaac Kome came in strong, in my opinion. You could see the uppercut that he misses there. But look at that flurry of punches that he's giving or pulling on his opponent, Ali Du Suleimana. You could see that Ali Du Suleimana is also trying as much as possible to soak the pressure from Isaac Kome. And that what makes fight because style make fight in boxing. So I feel this fight, we might see someone knocking, knocking the open end out because you could see that Isaac Comey's mouthpiece just went out. And that is what I always say. When you are throwing a lot of punches, you should be able to guard yourself. Well, the fights will continue here. This is just the first bout of the evening. And uh, for Ali Du Suleimana, showing a lot of grit there, taking in everything that Isaac Comey has to offer. But Isaac Komi has also given us clear indication that he definitely will not be a mere pushover. Oops, staggers on his feet, but bounces back. Goes into the uh, clinch and then gets out of uh, trouble. And he's, uh, you know, oozing with a lot of uh, confidence, uh, Derek. And uh, I mean, you, you, you have been close to the boxers. Of course, you're a member of the boxing fraternity. Sometimes, how important is it for a boxer who is uh, fighting his debut to show what he's made of, especially when you are faced with a tough opponent like Alidu? Well, I, I think that the debut fights are always difficult, I mean, for, for boxers. You, and, and it's coming face-to-face uh, -face with a boxer who is very experienced, a boxer who is one of the tools of the Delosi uh, Professional Boxing League. He's well-known. So he knows that there's a big task for him to clear, and he's doing that very well. I believe that 
um, Alidu is slightly ahead of him with experience, not with energy, not with the normal of blows. He is throwing, coming through a lot of blows. He is trying to, to do the work, but he lacks a bit of, of experience. That okay. is what Alidu has more than him. But he's doing a lot of things well. Good punches, uh, good cover. He runs when he has to run. He clenches when he has to, you know, clench. And, and when he has to move back, he moves back. And, he, you know, as a kickboxer, he has a lot of energy in his kitty. And he's mm. showing it. Good, good show, good show, good show. Well, definitely not overawed. A lovely timed punch there from Alidu. And then Alidu tries to open up, but then he goes to the ropes. Oh, it saved the day for uh, Isaac. Alidu tries to uh, capitalize on that. Few shots to the body, to the head. Kome replies nicely. And then they go into the corner. It's a toe to toe affair now. And it looks like Isaac Kome seems to have uh, recovered nicely. Pummeling, you know, a few punches through. And Alidu stands tall. And there he goes for the uppercut, goes for the right and then the left. Alidu tries to uh, return with a counter of his own. Oh, what a fight we have on our hands. Alidu tries to recover, then he relaxes to take it, and Alidu is now on the receiving end. Ten seconds to the end of the round. This is explosive. Saved by the bell. Now this is about between someone who's fought five times against someone who's just fighting for the very first time. NY, you can't even tell the difference. Amazing, amazing round from these fighters. Ali Sulemana and Isaac Komen. You can see the fans out there. They are really, really enjoying for a fighter. Isaac Komen, get it done. And look at what he's doing in the ring with an experienced fighter in the name of Ali Sulemana. You can see for a second I thought Ali Sulemana I was going to knock out as uh, uh, Isaac Kome, but you could see that was this he missed his first there and that is where Ali Suleiman capitalized on but you once said that you are shocked on how Isaac Kome did what they covered himself very well getting to the late rounds of the round so you can see that he also out. Out his mode and he started also unleashing shots on Ali Suleiman and that's when we also saw Ali Suleiman I mean Prince oh. we are in for a fight these two fighters are leaving it all we're definitely in for a fight. We're definitely in for a huge mountain to climb, especially when these two boxers are concerned. We're just about getting ready to get into round four. The bouts or the rounds are scheduled for six. And so far, it's been explosive right from round one. And I mean, for viewers who are watching at home, Alidu has fought five times. Four of those uh, bouts he won by way of knockout. So you, it tells, it gives you a fair idea of how explosive, how power punchy he is. Now he's fighting against Isaac Komi, who's stepping into the ring for a very first time. I mean, the only experience is that he has, or he's had, as the fact that he's coming from the uh, kickboxing uh, fraternity, just like our former world champion Richard Komi. But he definitely has a lot to offer. Alidu now chasing for the punches and the blows. Kome responds nicely. It's now a give and take affair. Oh, the crowd is loving this. No inch given and no inch taken. They are pummeling each other to bits. Kome goes out and then eventually he goes down. He's getting the mandatory eight count from uh, referee Erasmus Owu, and that rules him out. Hmm. That rules him out. What a debut performance! First of all, Derek, let me take your opinion. We saw him stagger. He went to the ropes, virtually out of the ring, came back again, and then went down. Now, does that qualify for the mandatory eight? Well, I, I, I have a different opinion, but uh, I'm not in the, in the ring. The referee 
was in the ring and saw what okay, so I let, let, let's see. walk through let's walk through the process again he's putting the pressure oh, yeah. definitely without a doubt yeah. and then at some point in time whether it was the miscalculated steps or it was the bro that took him back we saw him reel against the uh, ropes thought he was going out but then in the process of coming back that's when he went down into the ring that, that, that is what I, 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 I said earlier that he lacks experience so it was a blow that 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 took him off before um, a little came in. So um, that that is just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. Two uh, uh, blows behind the head, which is which is a foul against Aludu. But unfortunately, it worked for him. I I I think it's just unfortunate. It was we all saw that it was just a punch behind, and you could see from the the corner of uh, it uh, has comic. really they come came in the ring very very yeah. and at times you have to Shall find it together for I the two boxes I mean what they see close we don't we don't see we are the so benefit of what is on I think that they both they both done well the first as uh, ending uh, premature uh, 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 we have the best we have the verdict right about now so the referee Mr. Rafael we have the verdict right about now so the referee Erasmus O so get ready with the boxes and we we'll give you take the, the uh, official the next part of the evening is going to be a middleweight contest over six rounds between musa lossin and idrissa amado musa lossin and idrissa amado should get ready for the next bout of the evening now we have the verdicts we have the verdicts now ladies and gentlemen in round number four, one minute, 21 seconds, by a knockout, presenting to you the boxer, who is also known to be called the dynamite, Alidu Sulemano. So there we have it. Thank you very much. But let me, let me have a chat with uh, Isaac Komi. Isaac Komi, uh, uh, the verdict. And so this is his sixth, his sixth fight. His sixth win, five of the wins going by KO. Let's go back to ringside and listen to Ali, uh, Amin Lamte as he speaks with Isaac Komi. Boxing, you've done a great job. So, what should we expect from you? Kajemane Kaya, Mine Sanuwa Kweka Havu, wants to be an ultra boxer. I think I have a good manager, good manager, good promotion. I have a good manager, I have a good promotion. I'm, I'm, I'm on the game. The main difference is your boxing, the kickboxing. Shinnaka Obamodiwa, there was no way I've seen you raising your legs or trying to do something that has some relation with kickboxing. Obamodiwa didn't check. It was like a new one. I'm going to talk to your fans. Yeah, I expect more. It's a fair tool. It's true. I may expect more fight. I may expect more kajemi. And it's not a lose. Why I hear more, no mean that my family money, but if I support me, mean that my family money. I guess in the family, but support me next time. Why I hear more, I'm late and I'm in Kwame Naka, maybe I'm a machine. Actually, I'm trying to say, referee, okay, in a she more of him, more of him. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alidu. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Are you happy? I'm very, very happy. But I gave you a run for your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah he, he gave you some punches. I told you were going down. No, you see, he, he connects me some punches, but because of my strongness and this thing, I feel it, but he cannot put me uh, Which part of Ghana are you coming from? I'm from Bruna Alpha Brekum. Uh, Bruna Alpha Brekum. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, sir. Okay, so that was Zalido. Very excited.